However, harsh reality is that the more we develop the knowledge acquired, the greater the other areas will be as well. Therefore, the learning must be continuous, because its sources of knowledge are infinite in possibility. However, we should not be scared or afraid to explore the unknown, especially what is stored in the subconscious area of the mind of the business world, which aims to motivate its employees in motivational lectures or speakers, uses the pyramid icon to explain functions of objectives and goals to be achieved. However, through studies, we another representative icon that will certainly revolutionize everything that has been presented until today about how mindset, reality and even the systematization of life works. Objective the roof of the house, the final part of the building, is also the final goal to be achieved, so it is symbolized as the top, defining the objectives to an essential part of this scheme. Thus it is the first step in the process. Very important tips for Definition of objectives Stipulate what you want to achieve instead of what you need to avoid. Establish deadlines for achieving the goals. To get a sense of the achievement timeline, focus the first the four to be erected in the layout of the house. It is necessary to remain connected and attentive in achieving the established objectives and goals, without allowing stagnation or distract unnecessary situations. Strategy The second wall of the house refers to the action plan or tactic applied to achieve a result. Once the goal is established, it is necessary to create mechanisms that good working method. To define a functional strategy, it is necessary to find the answer to the following question, how to achieve the goal on which the focus is. Habits the third wall in the layout of the house. There is certainty of the goal and the strategy. It is necessary to act and have attitudes other than the previous ones to obtain better progress and results. In other words, it is necessary to reevaluate habits, as these can created for the good or the bad. The more an action is repeated, the more it will be instilled in the mind, until it becomes an integral part of it. The constant exercise of an action is what creates the habit to comply with certain action plans, which can often be seen as repetitive and monotonous. It is necessary to have the habit in the form of an effort to continue medium term actions, that is, at least for 30, 60, and 90 days. Reasons the fourth wall of the corresponds to the reason of a goal or objective. It is easy to agree that without the motivating fuel, it will be very difficult, even impossible, to achieve the goal. In spite of focus and the best strategy or action plan, it is essential. Reason is clear and strongly marked in the mind as necessary or desired, which pushes restlessly for action. Lacking to understand the reasons why one wants to reach a certain goal may bring several situations that distract. Focus, disrupt the action plan, and harm habits. The sixth part of the house, which already has the ceiling and four walls, consists of the foundation, a structural and fundamental part of this process. In every construction, large or small, it is extremely necessary to have a base solid support, very well rooted, to use of an analogy. The foundation in the mindset is equivalent to subconscious beliefs which are the beliefs that define reality. Control over 95% of the perception of life. The subconscious is the unknown or voluntarily ignored part. However, it defines and guides mental aspects that, most of the time, serve as guides and are hardly questioned, despite having no knowledge on them. The subconscious belief. 
Imagine a person who grows up in a lower middle class family, in which they have a real and very easy notion of everyday life, in which parents are employees or just one of them works. People who pay the bills live in a rented house, living each year in search of the so called vacation relief or heading for the long awaited retirement. This typical life structure caught complaints and leads to frustrations. Often, these speeches refer to a bad boss, very rich and oppressive, to an imposed unfairness. Lower middle class people always know that they need to rely on government aid or any other type of social assistance, which, in most cases, is really necessary due to the precarious financial conditions. Now imagine a child who grows up with a life perspective existing in that environment. As the child 